Why don't they just like point it at something and move it around? Maybe they will someday. Mm. Why don't Maybe. they? That's ready for. Why don't they just? That was a new take on it. There you go. Why don't they just? Brought to you by corn. Corn. Why not? <laughs> brought, to that spooky band. Popcorn. Uh, brought to you by spook, spooky popcorn. <laughs> is, it, is that it's a, a strain of Iowa corn? <laughs> spooky popcorn. <laughs> All right, so Ethan McDonald asked, uh, why don't they just put Raptor engines on the Falcon 9 if the Raptor is so efficient? Have we answered this before? We've definitely yeah. talked about it on the upper stage. We've, really? Yeah, we've definitely, but I mean, it's, uh, we haven't really talked about it. Why not on the, on the booster? You know? Well, go space, man. What do you think? No, I don't want to say first. Why do you guys think we, they don't just throw <laughs> it on the, on the old Falcon 9? Hmm. My answer would basically be that um, they've they've got it working the way they need to with the Merlin. It's it's working just fine. So why mess with you know why why fix it if it ain't broken? Well, doesn't it take a different fuel source as well? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think I, I mean I my guess would be that changing the fuel source might change many more parts than just the engine. Maybe I'm wrong, but you know how yeah. you store and cool those things and all that. I would imagine. I mean, maybe it's not, but to me, that would be my first guess. Is like, well, that changes a bunch of stuff, and it's not just popping a new engine. So, there's my guess. I would agree with that. Yeah, uh, yeah, you guys are uh, pretty much. I mean, you can't. It's it's never as easy as just swapping out engines, you know. So f first off, yeah, the fuel would be different, but, but that that's relatively easy if you have a cylinder and you have a bulkhead, you know, that separates the two, the, the oxidizer and the and the fuel. You can literally. In a sense, I mean, not just as easy as this, but you can you can kind of change where that is based on the ratios of these different fuels, right? I mean, it's never again that easy, but um, but what we're talking about here would be literally a complete redesign of the vehicle because it would no longer be a Falcon Nine. You'd only have about three uh, Raptor engines to produce the same amount of thrust as the nine Merlin engines, so you'd go down to about three Raptors. It's either three or four would produce enough thrust. Um, compared to the nine Raptors. And now mm -hmm. we run into another problem where, so now your whole thrust, the whole bottom of the rocket, the actual thrust structure and all that is completely different. Um, so you're basically already redesigning all of that from scratch. Uh, and then now you have the problem of how do you land it when you have an engine that is three times more powerful and can't throttle as deeply as the Merlin and weighs, you know, it would actually probably weigh a little bit. Well, it, it, I don't know. The weight would be relatively similar. But you know how the, the Falcon 9, when it's landing on one engine out of nine, so it's already cutting its thrust down to, what, like, you know, 11% from just by taking and turning off eight engines and only running one. They're going down from 100% thrust down to about 11%. Okay, so you take that. Then they can th lower that throttle even down to about 40 or 30% deep throttling, somewhere around there. And it's still too much thrust out of that one engine at its minimum throttle to hover. So they have to do that hover slam maneuver where it's, mm -hmm. you know, where if it's accidentally, if they start it just a little bit too early, it will literally like start going back up mm -hmm. because it, it, it can't lower the throttle enough to like be like, no, 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 down, 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 down. Like it's yeah. already a thing. So now you take a, a vehicle that has a, a higher thrust to weight ratio by like, three or four or five times and we're talking about a serious suicide burn here like that is like you're coming in screaming hot and at the very last second you just go <laughs> you know basically yeah but what you guys said too is just like it, we're talking about a whole an entirely different vehicle like it's not yeah. the falcon 9 anymore it's a totally different rocket it might you could maybe argue you could make a vehicle with the same diameter core and stuff ish and use the same aluminum ish and some of the some of the avionics and things but we're talking about an entirely different rocket and at that point why not scale it up and make it starship size because yeah that's what it's for well and the falcon 9 is a workhorse at this point yeah so yeah exactly what you said don't touch it like it's it's paying off it's paying we're off it's putting research people in space yeah right yeah. yeah and they're not even doing any more development on it anymore not right? really like just... they there are they are still tweaking a little bit but in a very like not a spacex way almost you know not where it's like every booster out the door is completely different yeah but like yeah. still minor tweaks here and there um just because they can't help it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but that's that's a good question because that is it seems you know it's not kerbal space program unfortunately where you can just you know stick different engines in there and call it a day you know so 
Is it fair to also say that the Raptor is still under development? It's not really proven yet. Certainly not as proven as the Merlin, but oh, like definitely that's very it hasn't fair to flown say. in space yet. No, okay. it has not, and it has not flown more than like what fifty seconds worth or whatever or whatever. Starhopper, and it barely did that. I mean, I think now we're to the point where it's <laughs> you know probably firing. I, I think people have reported McGregor tests of. Or I think even Elon commented on it one time of it being over like a hundred seconds or something or maybe even longer, maybe it was even 200 seconds now or something, but they're getting into like long duration burns, which is great because they definitely <laughs> need to prove that out. Um, mm -hmm. But, and it's, and it's slowly maturing beyond just pure development, but. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks everybody.